Hello everyone, I've got another mini Sony Vegas tutorial for you. This one deals with uploading footage to YouTube or in general converting footage that may have natively been in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, converting it into a pleasant uh, viewable 16 by 9 ratio in a way that's non-destructive, that doesn't involve squishing or stretching your original source footage and offering a way to present it in a more pleasing fashion. I've got a uh, sample video here that is cropped and it's a 4x3 sample and you can see that it's the 4x3 aspect ratio. It's rather a square presentation intended for the older television sets, the old glass tube TV sets. If you pull the uh, media info on this, you'll see that it is in the 4x3 aspect ratio. We're going to convert this into a way without producing any distortion through Sony Vegas into a suitable 16x9 format. So I'm going to launch Sony Vegas and we're going to bring that footage in, put it on the timeline here and you can see that we're in a 16x9 template 1280 by 720 and our 4x3 footage is not occupying the entire 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio of this template. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. First I'm going to show you the destructive way where you select this footage, you tell it to not maintain the aspect ratio and you'll see what happens is now that we've, we've occupied the entire 16 by 9 template but we stretched our footage and that produces distortion that's just not pleasing. So let's go back into that template or into that footage and let's tell it to maintain the aspect ratio and we're going to put it just back the way that it was originally. Now a pleasing way, you may have seen this on TV footage uh, where they'll have been out in the field and, and shot something in a 4x3 aspect ratio but they're broadcasting it in 16 by 9 So let's, let's do this. Let's right click our timeline and tell it to insert a video track and we're going to move this selected piece of footage up one level and then we're going to copy that. So we'll select it and choose copy. And we're going to select this time, this uh, video track. And we're going to paste it right here and move it over. Now basically we've got one on top of the other. But here's what we're going to do with this bottom one. Let's go and add one more video track. Okay. To move this up again. And beneath this second template we're going to insert a solid color. By right clicking that video track and choose Insert Generated Media, Sony Solid Color, and we're going to leave it at white for this example. So let's put that underneath our footage, stretch it to exceed the length of our video clip. Now let's go back to our second clip on the timeline of the, of the hierarchy of layers. We've got our first clip, which we're going to leave unaltered, the second layer. And if you see, if we reduce the opacity, it's not affected here for the simple fact that it's dead beneath this. So what we're going to do is we're going. This is the one we're going to distort and scale. We're going to tell it to not maintain aspect ratio, and we're going to allow it to fill in the back. Now, the second clip also we're going to add a fil filter effect to it, and we're going to put a Sony Gaussian blur. We're going to add that. Enter OK. We're going to leave it at its default settings. Close that out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to lower its opacity a little bit, say about 50%. And now if we play this, you'll see that we've got our 16 by 9 aspect ratio completely filled. We've not distorted our original layer, our top footage. And we're providing some footage for a type of interest, at least uh, minimally some interest uh, to fill up the remaining areas of the pillar box. You can... Um, Choose to opt to leave this at its 100% opacity so that when you scrub through that in a timeline, you get uh, at least a visual but somewhat blurred so that the focus of, of your footage isn't on what's outside of your, your primary footage, but at least you're covering your 16 by 9 uh, template with the usable footage. Again, you can reduce the opacity of this. You could uh, change this to a black color. It could be a gradient or it could even be another video, maybe uh, something that's loopable, uh, clouds or water or just uh, abstract animated background. But 
this is an alternative for you to uh, at least make use of your 4x3 footage uh, in a 16x9 timeline. Alright guys, hope that helps. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more in the future, don't forget and subscribe. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye-bye.